Yes, uh, my name is Roy. Um, Dr. Galami, uh, I call him Dr. G for short, <laughs> asked me to uh, speak concerning uh, my experience with my cancer. Um, and I started seeing Dr. Galami back in uh, January of 08 with uh, diagnosed with a large, enlarged prostate. And at that time, Dr. Galami uh, put me on medication that uh, cured the problem and uh, everything went really well. Um, and for the next two years, it was, uh, there was no issues. Um, seen Dr. Dr. G uh, once a year and uh, kind of kept everything up to date. Um, and in the first of uh, 2010, uh, looking forward to my retirement in 2011, um, started having issues again with the enlarged prostate and with the, some of the symptoms that uh, go along with that. So, uh, Dr. G, uh, first uh, step was to change my medication with the hopes that uh, I was just wasn't uh, responding to the uh, medication and um, didn't uh, didn't help anything. So. Um, Dr. Uh, Dr. G said, we're going to look into this uh, further, so um, did an exam and um, found an a, a enlarged uh, spot uh, on the prostate uh, and at that time decided to do uh, a, a biopsy um, with an ultrasound and uh, the results uh, came back from that. And as Dr. G put it, that he had to uh, drop the C-bomb on me. And that was in uh, November of 2010. So with that weighing heavy on my mind, um, the first, uh, first information that Dr. G told us was um, that we had a number of tests that we needed to follow up on. But if at all possible, not to worry a great deal about it. That's easy thing said. But uh, it's, it's great uh, information and great direction because until the doctors are able to find out all the information from the tests that precede uh, the uh, diagnosis, um, uh, it's very important to uh, let the doctors uh, carry the weight if you can. So um, the results came back soon after uh, we did uh, the blood work and the bone scans and uh, uh, fortunately um, due to Dr. G's uh, early diagnosis, everything was caught in a very early state. So the next uh, appointment, uh, Dr. G uh, asked me to be the last, uh, the last patient of the day with my wife with a list of questions and he would help us and give us all the time needed uh, to give us uh, the best uh, direction with the next step to take. Um, at the end of that uh, appointment, which was uh, a little better than an hour long, um, he, uh, he easily convinced us that the best step to go was with the uh, Da Vinci uh, procedure. And we followed up with that and, and agreed. Uh, so um, all the results that Dr. G told us um, uh, spelled out uh, great success in uh, with the uh, surgery. We went and went ahead and took uh, had the surgery in uh, February of 2011, and um, uh, everything went just as Dr. G had explained. Uh, was only in the hospital a short time, two days, uh, two nights, three days. Went home. The the most discomforting um, thing that I had to get used to right away was uh, the catheter. Uh, that was more discomforting than the operation or the recovery from the operation. And I had that for uh, 10 days and I was just getting somewhat used and comfortable to it and that's when we took it out. <laughs> so, um, but uh, everything since then has been remarkable. Um, uh, there's been uh, no follow-up whatsoever as far as radiation, no chemo, nothing of that sort, um, and uh, everything has gone well. Um, all of the PSA tests that we've uh, taken since uh, the operation have come back negative. Um, 
and, and the PSA test at the time that I was diagnosed was was a negative, I believe, also. So the PSA is an important uh, indicator, but it's not the only indicator. You've got to really rely on other aspects too of the the doctor's uh, knowledge. So helped out a great deal, um, and uh, it's been almost a year and a half now. Um, been no no bad results at all. Um, I couldn't be more pleased. Um, back at 100%. I did take the month of February off from work. Uh, I did retire, took a part-time job, but uh, everything has gone exceptionally well since then. I couldn't be more pleased and more uh, honored to come in and, and speak for the doctor and the procedure. So I want to thank you.